class. Today, we're gonna be learning about gravity. Gravity is what keeps your ass on the ground. Without gravity, you would just be floating. See, watch. Gravity is what made those crayons hit the floor. Uh, teacher, I don't mean to call you stupid, but aren't you the reason the crayons hit the floor because you dropped them? No, it was gravity's fault. See, look. If there were no gravity, when I let go of the crayons, they would just float. But since there is gravity, gravity made that happen. Oh, okay. Uh. Junior, why you push Cody's desk over? I didn't do that. That was gravity's fault. Ah, you right, Junior. Gravity is what caused Cody's desk to fall over. You very smart. A plus for you, Junior. This gravity thing is awesome. Yeah, Junior, I hate you. All right, class. Speaking of gravity, if you had a bag that had 500 pounds of bricks in it and another bag with 500 pounds of feathers in it and you dropped both bags off of a building, which bag would hit the ground first? Ooh, I know, I know. Uh, the bricks, because the bricks are heavier. Wrong. You are wrong. They would both hit the ground at the same time because they both weigh 500 pounds. What? That doesn't make any sense. The feathers are lighter. They're feathers. Well, no, Junior. The feathers weigh 500 pounds and the bricks weigh 500 pounds. And your mom weighs 500 pounds. So what are we talking about? No, Junior. What I'm saying is they weigh the same so they hit the ground at the same time. So you're telling me if I drop your mom off the building and I drop a bag full of bricks off the building, they both hit the ground at the same time? Well, if they both weighed 500 pounds... Which they do. Then yes. Okay, Cody, that doesn't make any sense. That's like saying, would you rather get hit with a pillow full of feathers or a pillow full of bricks? Junior, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Aha! Gravity strike again on Cody desk. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. My Cheeto Puff a la shit surprise is almost finished. Hey, Chef EB. Oh, what do you want, Junior? Can't you see I'm cooking? You want to see what I learned at school today? Wait, you actually learned something at school? You know what? I want to see it. Oh, okay, look. This is what I learned. <laughs> Junior, what the hell? Wait, why are you bringing glasses in the house? Wait, you learned how to bring a cup at school? No, no, no. I didn't break that cup, Chef EB. Gravity did. Wait, what? Yeah, Chef, you look, gravity is what keeps us on the ground. So without gravity, when I let go of that cup, it would have floated in the air. But since gravity exists, that cup hit the ground and shattered. What the hell's wrong with you, Junior? You made that cup shatter. You threw that cup to the ground and made it shatter. You do it. You did it. Chef, you look, I don't think you're understanding. Watch. Look, see, look. If there was gravity, it would hit the ground. If there was no gravity, it float away. So let's see what there is. It's gravity. I did not do that. Gravity did it. It wasn't gravity. It was you. It was no damn gravity. It was no damn Thanos. I don't care who did it. You did it, Junior. So get, out, get the hell out of my kitchen breaking stuff because I swear to God I'm about to slap you right now. Okay, you know, I'm going to go show my dad because I don't think you get it. You know what? Show your dad because I really want to know what the hell he wants to say. Oh, man. I can't wait for Charlie and Friends to come on. Oh, it's my favorite show ever. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, oh, hi guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm just here with my son. Say hi, Charlie Jr. And look, I just want you guys to know, I want to treat my son just like my dad treated me. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're so hilarious. My dad did the same thing to me. <laughs> yeah, dad. And I should also do the same thing to my son. Junior, what do you want? You want to see what I learned at school today? Junior, I don't care about your life. Look, you were a mistake, an accident. So why would I care? So do you want to see or not? <sighs> look, if it'll get you out of my room, fine. I'll look at it. All right, then come with me. <sighs> Asshole. All right, Dad. So this is what I learned at school today. It better be cool. <sighs> so, Dad, this is your favorite vase, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, one of a kind. You know, nothing else like it. Unique, super unique. Yeah. And it will crush my soul if it ever broke. Okay. Wait, wait. What the hell's wrong with you? Why would you break that freaking vase? I didn't break the vase. Gravity made the vase break. Gravity made that vase hit the ground. Hmm. Gravity, huh? Uh huh? No, oh, gravity did it. So gravity's gonna make my hand beat your ass, huh? Ah, uh, 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 uh. And Junior, you better sweep up every little piece. But Dad, it's not my fault. Yes, it was your fault. You just broke my vase. No, Dad, gravity broke your vase. So I'm sick of you bringing up this gravity. Gravity didn't do anything. You did it, Junior. I saw you push it over. Well, but Dad, look, if there was no gravity, this wouldn't have fallen. Your vase wouldn't have fallen. But since there's gravity, gravity made your vase hit the ground and break. So it's gravity's fault. Hmm. 
I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Well, so where's this gravity at so I can beat his ass? I, I think he's everywhere. No, oh, he's everywhere? <laughs> Take this gravity! <laughs> Try to break my face, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> wow, what did you break now? I didn't break anything, gravity did. Oh, you're still in that stupid gravity thing? Oh my god, Julia, you're stupid! Stop saying gravity did it! You broke it! But gravity did do it. You know what, Chef BB? You're just really stupid and I'm not having this conversation with you because you don't know what gravity is, I'm not having this conversation. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh, I sure wish someone would help their sweet old grandma down all these stairs. It's never gonna help me down the stairs, goddammit! <sighs> Julia, can't you hear your grandmother needs help going down the stairs? Go and help her! Oh, okay. Oh, come on, fucking knees work! Hey, Grandma! Ah, ah shit! I broke my fucking hip, goddammit! Uh oh! Julia, what's all that noise? <gasps> Mama! Wait, wait, Julia, what happened to your grandmother? Oh, uh, well, gravity made her fall down the stairs. Mama, I'm coming for you, baby! Mama, Mama, are you okay? I broke my vagina! No! Damn you, gravity! Okay, Mama, I'm gonna call the doctor. Just stay right there, don't move. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my poor elderly mother fell down the stairs! Yeah. Oh my god, is she okay? I can't feel my ass! I broke my vagina and my hip! Uh, oh my god, well, what made you fall down the stairs? Gravity. What? Gravity made her fall down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I, I I, mean, I know, but like, how did she fall down the stairs? Well, gravity pulled her down the stairs. Well, well, no, no, I understand that, but I mean, like, was she pushed or did she... Oh, no, no, I came up behind her and said, hey, Grandma, and it scared her and she fell, but she wouldn't have fallen if gravity didn't exist. Okay, it really sounds like you caused her to fall down the stairs. No, gravity caused her to fall down the stairs. Look, if there was no gravity, she just would have floated, but since there's gravity, she fell down the stairs, so you should arrest gravity for hurting my grandma. Huh. Uh, okay, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go change clothes. All right, I'm back. I changed clothes. So what were you saying, kid? I was saying you should arrest gravity, because gravity is the reason my grandma fell down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna need you to show me an example. All right, look. I'm about to push my grandma off the couch, okay? Okay. Ugh. Bitch! So you just assaulted your grandmother? No. Gravity made my grandma hit the floor. See, if there was no gravity, when I pushed her, she would have just floated on the couch like right here, right? But since there's gravity, she fell down. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. Yeah, you want me? I'll show you another example. How about this? All right, sure. All right, so I'm going to drop this cup on your head. Wait, what? Wait, I, ow! All right, that's it. You're under arrest for assaulting a police officer. I didn't assault you. Gravity did. See, look, when I picked up that cup and I dropped it, see, if there was no gravity, it would just float above your head. But since there's gravity, gravity made that cup hit you on the head. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Gravity, that bitch? All right, gravity's under arrest. Where is he? Get over here. Get him. Get him. Gravity, you bastard. Come here. I don't, I don't know. Come here. I don't know. Oh, I know how to get him. I know how to get him. Look. He only appears when I drop stuff. So how about I drop this cup, you get under it, and when he appears, you grab him. Yeah, oh, that's a good plan. Yeah, good idea. All right, here we go. And, are right, you ready to grab him? Yeah. Did, did you grab him? He broke my nose. Oh, oh, gravity. All right, that's it. All right, gravity, take this. What, did I get him? Uh, no, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's, let's test it out. Get the okay. cup, get the cup. All right, all right, let's see if you got him, because if he's dead, this cup won't fall. All right. Damn it, gravity! Uh, gravity! All right, we, we still didn't get him. Oh, so what are we gonna do? Uh, uh, all right, I'm gonna go alert the news. We need the army or something. Yeah. Breaking news, my guy. There is something causing things to break and people to fall. Scientists are blaming it on this invisible thing called gravity. Gravity is now on the FBI's most wanted list. It is wanted for causing millions of deaths. Every plane crash ever is being blamed on gravity because gravity caused the planes to hit the ground. I'm also getting word now that gravity caused 9-11 because gravity caused the buildings to fall. Keep your loved ones safe from gravity by placing pillows on the ground. Hopefully the police can stop this menace. Oh man, I really hope they stop gravity from hurting people. Who's that? Uh, hello? Junior, I just saw the news. What did you do? Come inside, Cody. So, Cody, did you see how I saved the world by telling everyone how dangerous gravity is? Junior, gravity is not dangerous. You just learned that at school today, and now you're taking it too literally. Cody, gravity is dangerous. It's the reason why planes crash. It's the reason why people fall over, because gravity takes us down. And I think we should get rid of gravity and kick its butt. How do you plan on doing that, Junior? By giving gravity more than it can handle. Follow me. Okay. Ugh. All right, gravity. Suck this! 
Yeah, suck it, gravity. Yeah, suck it, gravity. Oh, you want some more? You want some more? Yeah, Junior, I don't think it's working. Just throw more stuff. More stuff, okay. Come on, gravity. Yeah, yeah, take that, gravity. How about this? Suck on this! Oh, he, he sucked on it. Oh, yeah, he's he, he, he getting weaker. He's getting weaker. Yeah. Yeah, because it didn't break when it first hit. Uh, who I know. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you really showed him. Uh, gravity. Uh, suck it. Suck it, gravity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's try a big old bowl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gravity you think, sure didn't like that. You, do, do, do you think he had enough? Junior, I, I think he can take more. Oh, we think he can take more? Okay. Yeah. Oh, another cup, huh? That'll show. Stupid gravity. Okay. Um, plate. Uh -huh. And another plate. Oh, it's getting weaker. Yeah, keep going. And another plate. You're doing it. And another cup. And a. And a. And a. Junior, I, I think he's still pretty strong. Let's just go upstairs. Okay. <sighs> Alright, Cody. Do you think gravity learned its lesson? No. No, I don't. What, you don't? No. Well, well, do you think gravity is, like, still working right now? Let me check. Yep. Darn it! I really thought breaking stuff was gonna work! Junior, you can't defeat gravity. It's a force of nature. Well, have we tried talking to it? No, Junior. That would be like talking to air. That's not gonna work. It might work. Watch. I'm gonna try it. Um, hey, gravity. It's me, Junior. Um, you, you might know me because I just broke a bunch of stuff, but... Uh, my name's Junior, and I really don't like you, so if you could just, like, go away, it'd be really cool, because I really want to, like, float around, so that'd be really cool, so, uh, just go away, because you're hurting a lot of people, and we don't like you, so please leave, please. Alright, try the remote. Junior, this is stupid, it's not gonna work. What, 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 J Junior? What? The remote is floating. It's floating! J Junior, why is it floating? Well, oh, wait, you, you think gravity exists? J Junior, I think you turned off gravity. Well, wait, so the remote's just sitting there floating in the air? It's just floating in the air, Junior. How did you do that? I, I, I don't know, Cody. Wait. What? Uh, oh. oh my god, Junior, Ken is floating. K Ken is floating! Baby, ba baby, come down from there. Oh no, uh, uh, uh oh, Cody, I'm floating. Oh, uh, 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 I'm floating too. Well, what's going on? Junior, Junior, I'm scared. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It worked! It, I got rid of gravity! Ju Junior, why did this work? I said please, maybe gravity likes manners. Junior, Junior, this is stupid. It shouldn't even work. Well, I'm getting kind of hungry. Uh, maybe we should eat cat for dinner. <laughs> oh, oh, bad dream. Very scary dream. Not gonna teach about gravity today. Oh, but I'm really hungry for some cat. Oh, come here, midnight snack. Oh. <gasps>